I had this package from onion.io on my shelf for much too long. It contains one of these really cool Omega 2 Linux computers. And what's also been sitting on my shelf for way too long is my kitchen radio, which is a Tivoli Model 1. Really cool thing, but it does not receive the BBC World Service. Oh, well, I guess we can change that. And what better night for that uh, than a nice winter afternoon? And yes, just a way to have fun. So the idea is to have an, an underpiece that will fit right under the Tivoli Model 1 and it should have sort of the same style when it comes to buttons and, and all over appearance. So what Onion.io sent me was an, a USB audio adapter, an expansion board and of course the Omega 2 which is at the heart of this uh, project. So let's have a quick look at this. Hmm, nice, clean and shiny. Looks like nice work here. Now, this could be used on a breadboard, but uh, this expansion board makes it a lot easier to use. It's called expansion dock. Uh, it's, it gives USB connectivity and um, also provides a USB to serial converter so we can uh, pl plug it into our USB port here. Now that fits nicely of course. I didn't expect anything else. So if I plug in the micro USB adapter it appears as a, as a COM port on my PC and I can easily do the initial configuration through that. And it's even got a power switch which I won't really need in this project. The thing draws about one watt, whatever it does. So even if it's, if it's very busy, it's, uh, very moderate. Uh, about the setup, I won't go into the details. It's extremely well documented. Connecting that to, to the home Wi-Fi network is, is not really an issue. Now I've written a, a, a short script um, that you'll find on my blog at www.areresearch.net and if you look for um, for this project there you will find the code. Um, you can see me sort of pushing the buttons here and uh, on the on the real thing this wouldn't work out and I had to go into a bit more uh, effort and uh, use use resistors to uh, to get proper signal levels on the on the buttons. And I'm not really much of a woodworker, but um, I use this uh, sort of plywood uh, for this project, which in the end did not come out perfectly. But well, have a look at it and and decide for yourself. To make things a little easier for me, I use these angled brackets that I got for cheap from China. Um, but the, those really are meant to go on aluminium rails. Uh, so I have to file off these, uh, little protrusions that, that would go into the, into the aluminium rail. And that makes it a bit, a, a bit easier to, get a stable construction for the, for the case here. Oh, 
und das von Stuttgart. It's a piece of plywood that well matched the front panel of the Tivoli Model 1 uh, the best and the paint I got here is called Walnut and it's also a bit similar than than what the what the walnut case or uh, of the of the Tivoli one really is in color. Okay, so that's more or less what it's gonna look in the end. I don't really like the, the plywood aspect of it. So if you can use, uh, real boards, uh, that might be a bit better. Also use these legs so it does not, uh, scratch the surface underneath. And for the buttons, I just, uh, used, um, pieces from around uh wooden bar and here you can see this afterthought with the with the resistors that i needed uh, to get a decent signal uh, and no false positives from the uh from from pressing the buttons again i'm using these angle brackets that'll hold it all nice and tightly and i, I built the whole project here on a on a board which made made it n nice and easy to construct you also find the circuit diagram on my on my blog so I know when this goes underneath the radio it works nicely de son côté Isabelle Balkany affirme qu'elle et son mari ont acheté le château de Giverny en 19 Bye bye Tina Kiesling hier der Grundstrahl wir sitzen Jetzt ein Song von der neuen Platte der Band will be returned with an increased majority um, that will therefore yeah, to do whatever it thinks is necessary and thereby dissipating quite a lot of the political uncertainty that does go.